Kahe over there at Joe Lunchbox. And Joy Nightingale. And today we have landed right here in Clearwater, Florida. So we are today actually at the Clearwater Marine Aquarium. Joy, you want to tell you the people at home why we're here? We're seeing winter and hope. Yeah. So winter obviously being like the main star in the Dolphin Tale, the first movie, and then Hope is also in the second one because she was Winter's com companion or like part of the, the pack because they had to like introduce her. But yeah. So we're here to see some dolphins, <laughs> which is cool. Yeah. So start up, Brooke. Let's go for this ride. Here we go. Right to it. The Ruth and J.O. Stone Dolphin Complex. There she is. There's Winter. You can see where the missing tail was. And what's, what's cool is, if you haven't seen the movie, he's actually made a prosthetic tail for this dolphin. You see Winter? Yeah, you were talking about you. It's a movie star. We're seeing a movie star join right over there. Okay. <laughs> and the first floor of the aquarium is the big viewing window. See them playing together. That's PJ, their oldest dolphin. And these are all Atlantic bottlenose dolphins in this. There's five. They usually do rescue, rehab, release, but these five are not able to be re-released because of injuries and other reasons. They don't want to put a dolphin out that can't fend for himself, more or less. The reason that these five permanently live here in this enclosure. And we learned the dolphin PJ, she's the oldest one in this enclosure oh, that they have at the aquarium. She's 50 years old. Uh, an Atlantic bottlenose dolphin in the wild. Average life is only 15 to 30. But it's crazy, the oldest ever reported lived to be 61 years old. You want to come and say hi? No. No. PJ, you come to say hi? They're teaching us about winter gel to make the prosthetic for winter's tail. They need to develop a new material because the dolphin skin is so sensitive that they had to make sure it would be comfortable. So a company that makes human prosthetics called the Hanger Clinic helped invent this new material called winter gel which is a thermoplastic elastomer. So they were able to make it. And here we have some of the prosthetics they've made. The same material they use to make winter gel, not winter gel itself, but also is used to make fins, shoes, and toothbrushes. The dolphin's tail is actually called, well, not the tail fin, but the portion leading up to it is called the, I might be pronouncing this wrong, the peduncle. P-E-D-U-N-C-L-E. Here we have some information about their dolphins. Nicholas arrived Christmas Eve 2002. PJ. PJ is an old dolphin, but she just arrived here August of 2018. Hope was December 11th, 2010. Hope was an orphan. And there's Winter, who first arrived December 10th, 2005. It's interesting that three of the four dolphins appeared in December. Uh, fin facts, their favorite toys. And we actually hear their whistles. Curious 
that's what hope sounds like. Ooh. <laughs> I love hope's favorite toy, a squirt gun. That's cute. She loves catching raindrops in her mouth. And PJ's whistle. And last, we haven't seen Nicholas, so let's... It's fascinating how different they all sound. You really see how big the main dolphin pool is. And it's interesting. Winter, they have to make new dolphin tails for her, new prosthetics, because if you see the way the, the her, how the, where the tail should be curves down, that's scoliosis. And they have to account for it. And that was happening because if you see, she swims side to side like a snake instead of moving the tail always up and down. And the muscles weren't building the way the dolphin tails would be used to build the muscles. So that's what the prosthetic tail helps to uh, counterbalance, let's say. fascinates me how there are mammals that live in the oceans breathing with lungs I always wish I could swim like a dolphin and stay underwater for longer than I could hold my breath imagine a dolphin at top speed could reach 20 miles per hour swimming through the water here at one of the other pools, there's a bunch of pools here in the enclosure so they could ship where the dolphins are and different dolphins are in their different pools. We found another one of the dolphins. We're talking about two other dolphins, they helped rescue Mandy and Troy. But after 97 days, both of those were able to be re-released back into the wild. And they were found in 12 inches of water in Stevenson's Creek, Florida talking about how they restore the health like dolphins are very smart and they're very curious so they don't want them to get bored or frustrated so they keep training them in activities this is a playful So this actually is Nicholas. You can see by the scarring on the back, when he was very young and got rescued, that was actually bad sunburn that scarred him. This is Hemingway. Like I said, he was rescued because he's a little, a senior dolphin. He was actually, he's actually now 39, and he was going blind in the wild and having health issues, and he wouldn't have been able to survive by himself. That's why he lives here now. We found the new hope. Well, hope, not the new hope. Star Wars jokes. <laughs> so we learned the three dolphins, Hope, Nicholas, and Winter, all came here as very young cats. And the problem is dolphins learn everything within their first year, like how to survive in the wild. And since they were here, they never learned that. That's why they're not releasable. But PJ and Hemingway they were older dolphins that at that point couldn't survive in the wild. There's hope. Nicholas is very 
playful. Sí, seen in that shot the sunburn on top of the back from when they rescued Nicholas. <laughs> She's like no you cannot take my picture. I think he's doing like a kid when you go around the pool to build a whirlpool. <laughs> and besides that giant dolphin area there are some other animals we're about to go see. He's like, what are, you, what are you making my bed? I'm making a bed for him. I saw his bed be made. He's like, oh, I want to go in, I want to go in. He's looking, you see what's happening? <laughs> He's like, making my bed. He really is some sea turtles. These are actually Kemp's Ridley sea turtles. And again, we do the rehabs, but some of these are unreleasable. And they have three sea turtles in this enclosure. It's nice to see you too. Some fish. Some rays. No, not a drop of golden sun. Stingrays. And for this marine aquarium, it is all about rehabilitation and giving homes for animals that can't. So that's why they're trying to build a Manatee Springs Rehabilitation Center. So they were saying the Manatee Springs that is going to be here is projected to be done in around two years, in 2023 and it'll hold five, six manatees, and they're building an off-site rehab center that holds 16 to 20. And we have a little about this movie, Dolphin Tail. Morgan Freeman? They're talking about the pelicans and who they were named after. And they were all the pelicans. It looks like it's pelican nap time at the moment. We have one of the props from the movie. A kid named Sawyer, his bicycle. And when they were filming the movie, this is the pools and that they used the most for the filming. 
And since this is where they film, they have some of the actors' chairs, like Harry Connick Jr. and Ashley Judd, some others. Funny, they have the office set, like it was in the movie. This is the set, hot set. It is joy because we're filming it. And this scene location was the director's office. It's crazy. For the movie, they actually had to build animatronic dolphins too. And this animatronic was used in Dolphin Tale 2. And this thing we have a nice size nurse shark. Now like, since this aquarium is about conservation, we're talking about making sustainability and aquaponics, which I'm intrigued about. We actually use the water to grow the plants, but you also use the fish, and their waste is actually the fertilizer for the plants. So it brings balance, which to me is awesome. And in the back is their two rough-toothed dolphins, Rex and Rudy. Sort of hear them. <laughs> yeah. The physical also for and the, the way their anatomy is, you notice know, they don't have that big bulb and that little bottom of the skull. Nice turtle. There's more boy in his so that's why it couldn't be released into the wild. Yeah, that, the turtle with the buoyancy disorder is Titus. Well, hello there. We actually have another turtle with a buoyancy issue, that's why it lives here, named Ula. And a cool fish coming up behind her. We even have a touch of stingray tank. That's it. Be careful, there is a splash. We were exiting through the gift shop and then I saw this life size blue whale heart. Could you imagine their heart is almost my size? Just for reference on how big this is, heart estimates to pump over 55 gallons of blood per beat. We actually have their animal hospital. Here we have their ICU. Interesting seeing what they all eat. Over 2,000 pounds of restaurant quality fish every month. You see the turtles eating some romaine lettuce. Pelicans eating some herring. Ooh, other, the turtles here eating some squid. I like meatball, feline diet for the otters. Nicholas eats almost 17 pounds of fish every day. That's a lot of fish. And looking at some, we actually see some more there. Turtle rehabilitation pools. And the ones that have the names. Uh huh. Have the turtle that they're rehabilitating. Yeah. Like here we have Tortellini. We actually have a board here of the sea turtle rehabilitation. And all these sea turtles were rehabbed and released. You can see they're getting the romaine lettuce ready for the turtles' feast. About to check out the fourth floor, but you get a really good view of how big those dolphin enclosures are on the third floor. It's a large complex they have, and it's also a great view of Clearwater. Ooh, legends of the deep. You never go wrong with the kraken attacking a giant whale. Well, it's crazy. I thought this was a statue. Now I'm looking closer. It looks like a giant inflatable. Hmm, I wonder what's around this turn. Whoa! So, sir, you're here for your regular six month cleaning? Oh, I heard this back tooth has been bothering you. We'll check it out during this procedure. And this giant inflatable would be a megalodon size. A little bit. This shark is so weird. The cookie cutter shark. It's 
sort of a parasite, meaning it doesn't kill its prey. It feeds on larger animals, it sticks to the side of them and chomps away little pieces. They can grow to be a little less than two feet tall, 18 to 20 inches. I wouldn't want that mouse stuck on me. And here we have a jar of the great white sharks. It's interesting, it says they're victims. Young great white sharks will hunt small fish and even other sharks, while adults enjoy a diverse menu of seals, sea lions, dolphins, small whales, large fish such as tuna, sea turtles. Humans aren't considered a meal and are usually attacked when mistaking from other prey. We're about to go into the area of legends from the deep. And I, this is interesting to me. Legend of a Mermaid. And this one is pretty cool and pretty creepy. I've seen a lot of Fiji mermaids in my life, but this might be one of the biggest. We have a blobfish. First it's coming in 2003, and it's in 2013 voted world's ugliest animal. We have a vampire squid. It doesn't actually suck blood, but the interior has webbed tentacles. When threatened by the prey, the squid will draw its tentacles over its body in what is known as a pineapple position. This gives the appearance of a spiky, unappetizing ball. However, the vampire squid is entirely harmless. So it literally folds this around itself so it looks scarier. It looks scary to me as is. And we have the Kraken. Sir, I have to say, you do make a very good rum, but I am upset you attacked the Nautilus. Then you've seen him in Jurassic World, the Mosasaur. Wow, double hinge jaw to really open it wide. And then we have Plesiosaur. Living between 201.3 to 66 million years ago. This is what's rumored that Champ is at Lake Champlain. Then we have videos of the lamprey, a giant thing, how he latches on each, but in this jar, in this jar we have an actual lamprey. And the giant we versus the whale, the Battle of the Vithians. And it would be a sperm whale with that giant squid. In the gift shop, they have flipper made out of flip flops. Made from 100% ocean trash, hand carved in Kenya. But what we're gonna go for is a little hand carved alligator. Oh. So there you have it that was the Clearwater Marine Aquarium. Yep. Now, it's not like most aquariums where it's just all about showing you animals. This one's more about rehabilitating and releasing animals, and if they can't be released, caring for them for the rest of their lives. Also teaching about the animals. Well, I yeah. liked how like the staff was around, just like, if you have any questions, yeah. you can always Everywhere ask you go. us. Everyone was very knowledgeable, very, very helpful. I really enjoyed it. I do like that it's more about the helping. So donations for it help really put back into the helping of the caring of the animals, be it building new facilities to take care of more animals or just filling in the normal day-to-day -day needs of the animals they have. I do like how the staffs are doing physical therapies with the animals and keeping them active and stuff like that. Or their I, training is pretty much more of like they're keeping their behavioral um, aspects like on point that this way, they know like if, the, if they were, if they were, because they're not being released. Yeah. But that's what they would do. Yeah, I really like the porpoise of this this uh, aquarium. I mean, purpose of this aquarium, not porpoise. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And if you liked it, let us know in the comments down below. And if you like us, you should subscribe to the channel, share our videos with other people. We've been all over the place. You could go back and watch some of those. But I think we're gonna call the Clearwater Marine Aquarium. I think so. All right, Clearwater Marine Aquarium. Been, been there, there, done, done that. that. Remember, folks, safe travels Goody. and live life. I'm going to take a little piece of winter home with me. 
There's a winter crush penny. Oh, so cute. Yeah, you see the prosthetic tail on the penny. Mm. <laughs> That's a 